do drugs. <laughs> but I don't. I don't do drugs. I just smoke my vegetables. That's how I go about it. That's a blacker. Don't worry about it. <laughs> People always, people, I hang out with people who don't get high. Thomas doesn't get high. I cook for him, but he doesn't get high. So it's legit that I'm a good cook, because he's not like stoned and going, oh, this is going to be great food. He's like, boom, approval. Just realize that. So no joke there. <laughs> Just <a> realization. <laughs> ah, it's still funny, so that's why we're laughing. Just can't do it anywhere else. <laughs> Brad Hinder laughing, everybody. But I got tired of people asking me when I get high, so I just came up with a simple equation. You just take how long we've been in the same room together and add three minutes to it. <laughs> simple equation. It's the last time I got high. It's in the parking lot. Or on the expressway. Is <laughs> that shit safe? You're safe for driver when you drive high. Because you're not worried about shit. Like, I'm not in a rush to get anywhere. What am I going to do? I can forget where I'm going half the time. <laughs> Trying to go to an open mic at Murfreesboro and end up in downtown Nashville. We're going to look at something. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on with that. Forgot. And like, if you drive high, or if you drive drunk, fuck it, we can all relate. Like, if you see a taxi, that's definitely a cop car. Like, definitely. But if you see, like, if you're high, it's worse because every set of headlights is a cop car. Even like an 18 wheeler. It's like, I'm going, fuck! Big cop car, when did that happen? Don't know. Hey, Monty, I talked about you sleeping in a tent with me. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was you. I could really couldn't tell. Hey, we're going to, this is a new thing. I like to hug people. Like, some people like to shake hands, but I'm like, handshakes is, it just gets confusing. It's fucking overwhelming because I don't know how to shake people's hands at the time. Because everyone's got a different handshake. And if a black guy's doing it, I have a fucking panic attack. Like, I don't know. Like, if Calvin's here, I'm going, holy shit, what do you want to do this week? Oh, it's good. How many? It's like a Rubik's Cube. Like, handshakes have been a Rubik's Cube in 2019. I don't know. So I just like to hug people. And I don't need, like, fucking asshole to shake hands, too. Oh, we're ringing phones. We're ringing phones. That's okay. I'm talking about assholes shaking hands. Put their phones on, too. Assholes do both things. A shake your hand and leave the phone on. But the like, Squeeze it like really hard for like an extra 15 seconds. Just stand there. Where yeah, like just because you got a small dick doesn't mean you need to keep me fucking standing here like this whole time. What are you trying to prove? I'm squeezing my fucking hand for 20 goddamn seconds. I'll give you a hug and then rub my dick on your belly. And then you go, oh, that's the one I'm doing. Like. It's not. It's nothing. It's no porn. I don't have a porno dick. But it's it's like a nice regular guy dick. <laughs> Oh, that, this morning for some reason. I don't know why. Like, you know, it's nothing too great, but eh. <laughs> I was, uh, grocery stores have become a weird place. Because there's always people outside of grocery stores now that don't belong outside of grocery stores. Like, there's not grocery store employees outside of grocery stores. Which doesn't make much sense. There's not, there's either, and not even in the winter. Because in the winter, there's a dude ringing the bell, going to give me money. But now there's, like, cheerleaders and Girl Scouts and... The United Friendship Fund, whatever the fuck that is, I don't even know. And they got Boy Scouts. Like Boy Scouts are supposed to be better in America. I was selling their overpriced popcorn in front of Kroger, better in America. I was that teaching them anything. Oh, I can buy your shitty popcorn for two ninety five, and you're charging thirty five dollars for it. It's just Boy Scouts are just. That's not part. Of, that's we're working on that. It's you know, the camp masters don't even molest them in the woods anymore. It's just fucked up Boy Scouts, it's become a sham. <laughs> That's not the point of the grocery store, sorry everybody. That's a Boy Scout bit that I'm still working on, it's not good. <laughs> That's what that is. But there's a lot of religious people outside of grocery stores too. And uh, I came out of the grocery store the other day, and one guy stopped me and he said, Do you have Jesus in your heart? Unless Jesus is like a slowly, small growing tumor around the sadness that I felt as a child. I'm not getting approved by my family and peers. Yeah, I might have Jesus in my heart then. But I don't think that's what he was referring to. And I'm not, like, he's a cool dude. He's got good philosophies and shit. Like, I dig him, but it's not a thing. So I said, no. And then he got upset. Was, you know, if it weren't for Jesus, you wouldn't be here? I'm going, hold on now, buddy. 
Like, I'm not denying that maybe somewhere down the line Jesus had some impact, but I don't think you can give him credit right away. Like, I think Jack Daniels is a dude that probably deserves more credit for me being here than Jesus. Like, Jack Daniels, Jimmy Page, and a bag of reefer, I feel, contributed way more to my existence than Jesus. This is gold. This is what this is. Because I can't imagine that my dad, when he was orgasming, he was going with, with his orgasm. I would pass my seed into the hands of Jesus, who would continue this life forever. I'm pretty sure he was going, God damn, Jimmy Page! Oh. <laughs> so low the stairway. Gets you excited. 